Hello, I'm Alberto Woodman, and in this instructional video I'm going to explain the last girls with two fingers, with index and middle and index and ring. We will study uh, some kind of rust girls, first of all with the camera uh, studying my right hand, mm -hmm. and then we will play some examples of these rust girls with the styles of uh, fandangos, seguidillas and bulerillas. If I have time, because I only have 10 minutes to explain this. Um, so I recommend that you study these rhythms, seguidillas, fandangos, bulería, in my other videos that I have recorded, they are, uh, are on YouTube. They are on, on YouTube, and so you must recognize and you can play perfectly the rhythms. The compass is very important. Okay? And uh, another thing, I recommend that you study this video after the video that I, ha I have recorded about rasgers with only one finger and before the videos that I have recorded of rasgers with three fingers or four fingers. So, uh, that way uh, your learning will be better, okay? will be opting from easy one finger rasgeo to uh, more difficult four finger rasgeo. Okay? Let's start. Well, the first rasgeo is um, playing uh, the middle and the index. You have to play harder, uh, sorry, hard. And uh, if you want to play hard, you must have your fingers in this position, okay? Caught by the thumb. Then, first of all, we play with the middle and then with the index. We will play this rasgeo on the seguidillas. Then, on the second part, uh, we are going to use this rasgeo in the fandangos. Uh, we play with the index from down to up, with the middle from up to down, and with the index from up to down. Okay? It's very easy. And when we play with fandangos, we will play... Golpe, again... Golpe... Golpe, and on, and on. Okay. Um, you can play exactly the same as Geo, but changing the middle uh, for the ring. Okay, index, ring, index, index, ring, index. Okay, golpe, golpe. Well, um, uh, at the end of this video, we will use this rasgeo. Okay, in the string, in the, but in a constant way, we will play in the bulerias. Well, let's start with the uh, seguidillas falseta. It's very easy. Uh, so let's start uh, playing with a special metronome that is going to indicate the ascent. Okay, and we we'll start now. It's uh, how uh, I play perfectly this falsetta, but notice that at the end I am using brass girls with three fingers, okay? But if you don't uh, have to play them, forget it, and let's play the first part, okay? It's very easy, I'm going to repeat it. We put the A chord and I am, do, I am playing ligados with the little, uh, sorry, with the ring on the third fret of the third string. And every rasgueo is exactly in, in the essence, in the essence of the seguidilla. Okay, it's very easy. So practice, and when you play correctly this, then you can pass for the next part of this video. The rasgueo that I am going to play in the fandangos. Bien, okay. Uh, in English. 
I am playing these fandangos of, of Huelva with a special, the tono. And I am playing, first of all, the rasgueo, the rasgueo uh, index from down to up, middle from up to down, and index from up to down. So the, I, I am playing always. It's very easy. Okay? But sometimes I am uh, playing some. I am doing some details. For example, when I play the second time, I uh, play with the index a little bit from up to down. Listen. Okay? Here. This is a detail that is very, very nice. So now I am going to play the same brass gallo with the typical chords of the fandangos. E, sometimes with the ring, playing this note, A minor, and F. Okay, let's play it slow. Okay, it's very easy. Practice many times and also, I can play exactly the same, but instead of playing with the, with the middle, with the ring. Okay? Exactly the same. with the changes of the chords, okay? When you have practiced many times and you play correctly this rasgueo with the index and ring, now uh, you will be able to, uh, or capable, uh, for playing the next, the last part of this video when I am going to play the same rasgueado but with, in this way, okay? I am going to play this uh, for Bulleria. the last plus gal index from down to up ring from up to down and index from uh, up to down and again the same don't stop and increase your speed little by little the secret is that the sound has to be constant uh, when you play for example with the index from down to up you always have to try to get the same sound like if you are playing with the ring from up to down or with the index from up to down, okay? Well, uh, another detail is like I am playing the beginning and standard bulerias and uh, this part is exactly the remate of the bulerias. Let's play it with a metronome, uh, slow, okay? And you will understand better what I'm, what I'm saying, okay? Let's start now. Okay. Well, now when you uh, play correctly, okay, uh, now you will uh, be capable to uh, increase your speed and to play faster. But in the beginning, don't run, okay? And that's all, my friends. See you later.